on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Let's get this oil changed, boys. Hope the wife don't mind I'm using her pot. Oh, it looks still clean. So you need a 17 millimeter for the drain plug, an 8 millimeter for the filter. You got the element filter, suggested by a couple of my viewers actually. I'm using Rotella T4 because they took so much zinc out of the regular oil. You either have to get a motorcycle grade oil or a diesel type of oil that deals with the lash, you know, metal on metal lash. Like your old Chevy flat tappets, non-roller lifters. You want to do that so you don't wear your cam out with the today's oil. Some will say you should use a new washer, but if it's not all smashed out. I reuse it a few times. Wear rubber gloves. Snug it up pretty good. Notice it has tabs here. Be pretty easy to make a heavy duty shield that goes underneath here for rock bashing. Let's see if we got any more sediment out of this. Hopefully not. Or very minimal, I should say. I believe it said 1.2 quarts, roughly. You just stick it in and check it. That's what she said. Don't screw it in. Oh my god, what did I say? Not too bad. Got a few more little metal flakes. Now let's see if this Wix filter matches up. Oh, maybe with the rubber. Oh yeah, same height with the rubber. Does in fact look like it's going to work. Make sure you got your O-ring sealed here. This does come with new O-ring, but just one. Don't put the O-ring on the middle one here. That's for oil passage. So I'm going to save this O-ring. These still look pretty good. They're not flattened out or hard. Because they're brand new, and I'm going to line up that with this oil hole. Put it back together. We'll take the core screen off the other side, see if anything big got trapped in there. Hope this stupid lens don't fog up. I've been having a problem with that. Just snug. Because you're not squeezing a gasket, you're just keeping it in there. The O-ring's what's sealing in that oil. We'll run that maybe through a coffee filter. See what it looks like. Let's take that coarse screen out the other side if it has one. Take a look at that. We're going to save this too. does have some kind of spooge on it. It's not even metal. Hmm. Clean that up. This is basically a pre-filter. And if you had a CG engine, 
This is kind of modeled out of a CB engine, Honda clone. But if you had a CG clone, this would be the primary filter for the big stuff. And then the small stuff would get trapped in an oil slinger on the other side. Don't cross thread it. And I did get oil on it from having it come off. It's just the nature of this piece here. And then not too tight. And believe it or not, these are the same size caps as the old Honda ATV engines that you adjust the valves. That's right. So that's done. We're ready for oil. Grab yourself a nice clean oil funnel. This one just happens to screw in there so it makes it a little easier. So there's the quart. We're at four quarts. Is that four? Yeah, these are fours, huh? One gallon. Yeah, these are four quart, not five. So we're going to go to three. Tad over. And then we'll check it after we start it and let it warm up. Alright, that's a little bit over a quart we used. Frequent oil changes are one of the best things you could do for your engine. As I'm sure you guys already knew. Let's balance the bike again. But that's right on the full mark without even running it. Oh yeah. So let's run it, let it warm up, and check it again. So I changed the oil at 156 miles. I'm gonna go wash the oil off my hands. Make sure I have no leaks. good to me yeah some people just drain that screen instead of the plug get the same amount of oil out yeah, it was about three to four minutes definitely hot oh, it's still coming down might have checked it too soon before that oil got back down in the pan Perfect. It's going to be a while. The next day. It's all strained out. So that's what we got out of it. And I'm sure the filter took a little bit and I might have dripped some, but let's see how much is in there. 946 milliliters is one quart. Yeah, there's still a drop in there, but it's just under a quart by a little bit. So I could see losing 0.1 quart. This Hawk X has a sight glass and it's reading full. So let's check it by the dipstick. So this is in fact full without screwing the dipstick in. At least we put this matter to bed. That's what she said. Or he said. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.